Okay, hi. This is, this is going to be kind of awkward at first. Anyways, so I brought Christine and I am trying to do a, a video vlog thingy. You know, like a video vlog of like my life or what have you. So I'm gonna start with one of those things where I start with like my early childhood and everything, you know. So anyways I see it reports back everything it say, so it's really awkward. I'll get used to it eventually, I guess. So Basically, I was born and raised in Baltimore County, particularly in Catonsville, in um, southwest Baltimore County. So you could picture Baltimore County as like a chimney with a fireplace. Baltimore City is the fireplace thing in it. And there's like that, think of like an outside on the house, and it's like a chimney. So, like the Herbert Zone is up here, and I guess you could say everything out west is over here, and everything out east over here. So, you gotta pick up and watching this, like in a mirror, because I'm looking at it, my little map in my head of Baltimore County. But anyway, so I live down here, except on you, for you, it's over here, because you gotta fuck things around, because I'm looking at it here. And well, anyways, you look on the map, the Google map, or something like that. Anyway, so, and I still live there, and so I live on a, uh, dead end street. So I live on the front end, or the beginning end, or whatever you want to call it, of the dead end street. And the friends that I had when I was growing up lived at the end of the dead end street. Like, so you just keep going, and then it stops, and there's like a little railing, and it just goes down like it's a little creek thing, or what have you, and the woods and stuff. And then there's another road out there. And what I have you. So, anyways, so I walked down the street every evening when I was a little kid. I think from the time I probably could walk and talk to about 10 or so. And we go down there, and they had like a swing set, and like I think a little bit of sand or what have you. And we play in the sand or whatever, but this eventually the sand kind of just went away or whatever. I don't know. It just kind of, you know, wasn't there anymore. Just grass grew over, but who cares? Whatever. Anyway, so there are two boys, and they um lived at the end of the street in this house, and across the street was another boy. The two boys that were brothers, they were homeschooled. I went to public school my whole life. Anyways, the kid across the street, he went to public school with me, and he was only in two of the classes that I've ever been in. And apparently, he actually went to private pri Catholic school, actually, in high school, but up until eighth grade, we went to public school together. And, um, anyways, other than that, I was more or less the loner kid. And, um, they were more or less the friends I had that I played with, mostly during the summer and in evenings and stuff. And I would go down there and we'd get on the swings and we had really interesting games that we played. Like Spaceship, for example. We pretend we went to Mars and, like, we were... And my one friend was like the alien or what have you. 
and other really weird and interesting things. So, anyways, when I was at my house, I had Barbies and baby dolls and all that, but I just played with them by myself. I was always a creative one, and make up my own little stories and all my own little world and stuff. And, I mean, it was kind of sad that I was by myself almost all the time, but it was alright, I guess. I mean, I was the only child, by the way, to let you guys know. I was literally the only child. And, I mean, your, your friends or your peers or what have you talk about their brothers and sisters. And half the time they fight all the time, but half the time it seems like you had at least somebody to play with or share things with. And you gain social skills and you don't actually gain anywhere else. But I didn't have that. I just by myself. I remember one time when I was really little, I sit on my mom's lap in the morning. My dad would go to work. Those days were interesting. Because I remember my dad sitting around in his underwear for a while. And we sit around watching the news. My parents, one on one side of the couch, one on the other side of the couch. Drinking coffee, and I'll just sit there. And I just remember my dad eventually put his clothes on and went to work. And I sit on my mom's lap and playing Barbies or what have you. And she was always <laughs> like, <laughs> she had like scratchy legs. <laughs> it was weird. Because it would be like she had shaved her legs or something for a while, and her legs were scratchy. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I remember from my really early childhood. So, anyways. And I remember my dad had this old black and white camera that he would just set up with a TV. And you, there was no sound or anything. But I would just sit there in front of this camera and just start playing with my baby dolls. And just make up little stories of what was happening. And I would keep talking as if there was sound. But there was no sound anyways. So you just kind of think it. So anyways. That is one of the other um hobbies I had when I was a kid. And and I would make my parents watch these videos and they didn't understand what was going on because there were no sound. And I didn't understand why my parents did not want to watch these videos. Be because, you know, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. But you know, there's no sound and when there's no sound and there's no like other way of telling what just going on the other day and me just moving these dolls around. They probably just saw me playing with dolls and didn't really make any sense. It made sense to me in my head because I knew what was happening. But you know. <laughs> one time, I pretended I had a restaurant. And it was like one of those right on the water restaurants. And they literally fished the water out, the fish out of the water. And sell the fish at this restaurant. And apparently there were oysters. <laughs> and I remember pretending it was like the, the, there were no more oysters in this water. And I was like, oh my goodness, there are no oysters. And I pretended to go like this and we're calling. And we're like, there's no more oysters. <laughs> we ran out of oyster or something like that. And that was just funny as anything. At least I thought it was when I was doing it. And of course, if you watch the back and you just see me go like this. And you don't know what's going on. You just know that they're up calling and everything. And you just go with a whole bunch of crazy stuff and everything like that. But anyways, I remember it personally. And it was crazy. And, you know, I'm one of those crazy people that just goes on and on, you know.
and everything is in my head, and I just <laughs> just think it all, and that it was that's more or less me playing around, and it was just recorded, but without any sound. And of course, there are VHS tapes, and they're maybe somewhere, maybe not, I don't know. And if they are still there, there's nothing we can do about it because we don't have a VCR. You know, the very last VCR we ever had broke one time. I don't remember when, but it was recently. And it was like the end of my childhood, you know. We had all those um, Disney videos. You know how every kid who grew up in the 90s, you had like a whole shelf full of Disney videos. And it was all the classics from Cinderella to Snow White to Alice in Wonderland and Lion King and Toy Story and I don't know, I can't remember what else, but you know what I mean. All those Disney videos that everyone has. Yeah, every house you go to. And you have the TV and a shelf, a shelf here, what have you. Our TV, the TV was up here and the VCR was like here and all the v videos were here. Well, they're all down the basement. At least they were. In a box, in a cardboard box, and now with my own kid, we have DVDs, we have DVDs all over the place, and we don't have it as organized as we did when I was a kid, but oh well. And this, I swear we have way more DVDs for my own kid than we had VHS tapes when I was a kid, but oh well. And yeah, those are some random things I remember from my early childhood. Um, if you have any other thing you, you want to know about my early childhood, just comment below, I guess. Um, I'll make another video blog eventually, I guess. So, I guess this is it for this one. Let's see how this goes, okay?